Ronald Reed, the wealth creator, worked as a full-time janitor throughout his life. Ronald was able to acquire a wealth of $8 million. Because of the secret, which he kept from everyone, including his own family, before he passed away in June 2014. His face was plastered all over media. So what? Millionaires die every day. But Ronald was unique. He spent most of his life working as a janitor for low salary, attended just high school, and was raised on a meager farm. Check this out. It was stated that the average janitor's pay in the 2000s was $22,000 per year, or around $1,800 per month. I know how Ronald was able to turn this into $8 million. I will show you that in a bit. So let's begin. Wealth Formula the wealth formula, which was not covered in school, was the first hidden knowledge that Ronald had. Cash flow is the difference between the amount of money coming in and the amount leaving your business. Hence, income minus expenses equals cash flow. If your cash flow is positive, you will have extra cash on hand. If it is negative, you are going into debt. According to Morgan Housel's book, The Psychology of Money, wealth is determined by how much money you have saved up rather than spent. You can retire many years early for every 5% of additional income that is saved. Assuming that your monthly income is $5,000, if your cash flow is zero or negative, or if your costs total $5,000 or more, you will never be financially free and will need to work until the day you pass away, unless you were born wealthy or whatever. Theoretically, if your expenses equals $0, you can retire straight away. However, having $0 in expenses is nearly unheard of. Here's where it gets interesting. If your expenses fall between zero and $5,000, indicating a positive cash flow, after saving enough, you can make your money work for you and snowball it into future income. And when that future income can cover your living costs, you are finally financially free. Look at this. In the event that you earn $65,000 a year and are able to save 10% of that amount or $6,500, you could be financially independent in 51.4 years. But if you can manage to save just 5% extra at 15%, you can achieve financial independence in 42.8 years. You can eliminate more than 8 years of labor with just 5% increase in effort. Nearly $8,000 is what the average American spends per year on non-essentials. Seriously, do you need to spend $173 on takeaway each month? Understanding the numbers Understanding numbers is essential as well. The secret to being financially on track to retire as a billionaire by 65 would be to divide the amount of money you have saved up by your current age. If you start saving when you are 20 years old, it will take you 65 years to become a millionaire by saving $204 a month. If you begin saving at age 30, you must set aside $443 per month, $1,030 per month at age 40, $2,795 per month at age 50, and so forth. But like most things in life, the earlier you start, the easier it will be over time. Since I'm not sure about your specific financial circumstances, my calculations are based on a few assumptions. First of all, you have no funds at all. Two, you can increase your assets by 7% annually. And three, you can stay up with inflation by raising your monthly contributions by 2% annually. Therefore, if you make a deposit of $100 per month in year 1, you will make a deposit of $102 per month in year 2, and so on. There are obviously numerous factors that affect this equation, but the earlier you start saving, the better off you will be. So, what is the best way to save money? I will tell you how I do it, and you will probably hate me for it. Hear me out. Do you think wealthy individuals have Excel files where they record this? Stop tracking everything and stop budgeting. I spent $13.25 on two avocado toasts on July 17th. No, they don't. Although, I still budget. I do so in a very special method that makes it quicker and more efficient. That said, comprehensive budgeting is still a good idea if you have a spending problem or are not in a secure financial position. Budget automation is what I do and a better illustration of what the wealthy actually do. My paychecks are automatically deposited into my bank and every month, I move a portion of the money I want to save into a savings account and another portion I want to spend into a spending account. This includes my recurring monthly payments and regular living costs. The trick is that since I am aware of my fixed monthly expenses, I can set spending goals for things like food, entertainment, travel, and shopping. At the end of the month, I will automatically be aware of any money that was left over in my spending account, which I can use to invest, save, 
or carry over to the following spending month. Not everyone will benefit from this budget automation technique, but my objective is to make personal finance as simple as possible. Because psychologically speaking, the more barriers we have in the way, the less likely we are to follow through. Multiple source of income. The point once again is related to your income. According to Tom Corley's book, Rich Habits, more than 75% of millionaires were self-made, like Ronald Reed. However, there is one characteristic that he noticed all millionaires share. And the Internal Revenue Service or the IRS also confirmed this fact. Almost all of them had multiple income streams, ranging from three to seven. The two primary ones that Ronald Reed had were the janitor job and the second one, which I will get to in a moment. One of the biggest advantages of having various income sources is that you will not be as dependent on anyone, including your full-time job, which is actually much riskier than you might believe since if your boss decides to fire you one day, you are out of a job and out of money. Additionally, you can boost your monthly cash flow. There will always be a limit to how little you can live on. Even eating nothing but instant ramen and drinking water costs money. However, if you can manage to earn just a little bit more, even $100 a week, your cash flow will increase significantly. If your monthly expenses are $3,000, you can try to live more frugally by possibly reducing your spending to $2,400. You might follow the conventional path to increase your income by working a little bit more hours, asking for a raise, obtaining additional credentials, and finding a better job. Or you can do what I did while I was employed full-time, launch a side business. An excellent approach to earn extra income is through side jobs. You might need to put in a few more hours every few days depending on the side business you start. But I promise it will be worthwhile in the end. The Secret Beyond only the wealth formula, Ronald did not amass a fortune by simply mastering the cash flow formula. He held a further secret in reserve. When he passed away, the truth ultimately surfaced. Not even his family was aware of this. When I looked through all of Ronald's stock picks throughout the course of his lifetime, about 95 different stocks, I saw a recurring pattern. This is where things start to get interesting. The key to accumulating money is investing your surplus cash flow. But it is crucial that you do it right. Here's the error that you must never make that most people do. You have likely heard a lot about day trading. You see it on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube about individuals analyzing charts buying and selling 30 times a day, and hope it goes up. You might believe it is extremely exciting and the key to being wealthy, but here's what they do not tell you. Ronald, in all his wisdom, did not day trade. Instead, he was an investor who concentrated on a company's fundamentals, which meant he examined the company's intrinsic value and ensured that the investment made sense on both a quantitative and qualitative level. 90% of day traders lose money. Therefore, he would not have lost his entire life's money on meme stocks like GameStop and AMC, and thus ending up to make a lifetime savings account worth $8 million. These are major two secrets by which Ronald ended up with so much financial success throughout his investing life. In our upcoming video, we will discuss about the power of compounding that can make a huge difference once understood properly. Till then, you can listen what Warren Buffett has to say regarding his personal finance tips. Link in the description below and also in the pinned comment. Make sure to check them.